Hi, this is John Park for Adafruit Industries, and I wanted to talk to you today about using a level shifter so that you can get a microcontroller that runs on 3.3 volts to talk to NeoPixels, which run on 5 volts. So what's all this about logic level shifters anyway? Well, what happens is we have a power and ground coming from a power supply. In this case, I've got a 5 volt and 10 amp power supply, a pretty beefy one, that can run the lights on this NeoPixel strip. But there's a third pin on the NeoPixel, and that's the data line. That's the control coming from our microcontroller telling each pixel what to do, what color, what brightness, when to light up. And the problem is when these 3.3 volt microcontrollers are trying to talk to the data pin on the NeoPixel, you can end up with some pretty strange results. I've had everything from dim pixels to dead pixels to the wrong color showing up and it's kind of frustrating until you realize that you can get a translator to sit in the middle between the microcontroller and the NeoPixels. So the level shifter has this one job in life, really. It takes the input coming from, in this case, the 3.3 volt data line, and it translates that to an output that this 5 volt data line can understand. The connections you need to make between these are pretty straightforward. What we have are reference voltages on either side. So the microcontroller talks to the level shifter and says, here's a 3.3 volt reference. And the NeoPixels on the other side of the level shifter say, hey, here's my five volt reference. Now the level shifter knows how to translate or which languages it's talking on either side. The other connections that we're gonna make are a common ground, and then any of the channels that we wanna communicate this translation between. In this case, I'm using this bi-directional level shifter that has eight channels. So that means we can talk between eight different devices. What we do is take an output pin coming off of the Feather microcontroller. In this case, I'm using pin six, and it goes into the A1 of the level shifter. Then the B1 of the level shifter goes out to the NeoPixels to do the translation. The connections we have on the board are this Adafruit Feather M0 with a LiPo battery, and then we're tying it to ground, and we're running the 3.3 volt out from the Feather to the reference voltage, or VCCA, on the level shifter. The level shifter is also tied to ground, and we are running the pin six from the Feather, which is the data line telling the NeoPixels what to do, out to this A1 channel. That's the first of the eight channels on the level shifter. We have power coming from a five volt, 10 amp wall adapter. And that's running through this plug to this rail on the breadboard. And we're also using a fairly large capacitor to smooth out that power. And that is connected near the source between the power and the ground rails. The power coming off of that is running both to the NeoPixel. So we have the five volt and the ground coming from this power supply running to the NeoPixel strip. And we're also using that as the reference voltage on this side of the level shifter. So that's running to the VCCB input. Then we have that pin six, which came off of the feather and is going into the channel A1, being translated from 3.3 volt to five volt, and then running out this B1 channel into the NeoPixel strip so that the communications are understood by the strip. One way to make your circuit a little more permanent is to move from a breadboard onto a perma proto board. Now the perma proto board is laid out exactly the same way as the breadboard. So this means you can keep the same layout you had, move things onto this board, but now you'll be able to solder your connections instead of having wires that can fall out.
So there we have the level shifter helping our 3.3 volt microcontroller talk to our five volt NeoPixels. And we've moved everything off of the temporary breadboard onto the much more permanent Perma Proto board. I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries.